So, as you all know, the Indie Pro took place yesterday, and I wanted to talk about the placings and what I thought of the physiques on stage. So, I'm going to start off with the Men's Open, and then I'm going to talk about the 212. Well, first, I wanted to talk about Blessing Awodobu's physique, and I wanted to say first, I really, really don't think he deserved that third place placing. In the pre-judging, he was definitely fifth place, and in the finals, he did show up improved, but... He was still, I would say, fourth place. He was battling for third with Dorian, but I still would have had him in fourth overall. And I would have had Dorian in third. And after all the high blessing had been making for himself, and all the physique updates that he had been putting out leading up to the Indie Pro, I expected blessing to, to look better. And I know a lot of the other YouTubers had been saying that because of his, the way he's been talking about himself, we expect a higher higher caliber of physique that he presented. And yeah, I, I think Blessing should have looked better. I don't think he looked very good. He will probably look better for New York Pro next week and the Cali Pro the week after. And I I don't know. I just I wasn't very impressed with Blessing. Uh he still looked okay, but he definitely needs to bring up his legs. That's that's mainly what's holding him back. He has this he has the same problem as Brandon Curry where the upper body looks looks good, but the legs need work. And if he is able to bring the legs up, he will do a lot better. And yeah, he's going to do a lot better in the placings and just have a better physique overall. So next I wanted to talk about Justin Rodriguez and Mohamed el -Imam. So Justin definitely brought his A game. He looked, he looked fantastic and he did deserve that first place. And that's pretty much all I have to say about it. Um, yeah, he deserved first. Not much else to say about that. And Mohammed, he, he also looked pretty good. He was a dark horse. I didn't really have him in my top five. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting so much from him, but he did show up in very good shape and he did deserve, he did deserve second place. And during the pre-judging, he was battling with, with Dorian, uh, for the second place, but definitely, I, I think he did deserve second. So the top two, I did agree with those placings. Now, Dorian in fourth, I, I really didn't, I didn't agree with that. I really thought Dorian should have been third. During the pre-judging, Dorian was definitely third. And during the finals, he was battling with Blessing for third. But overall, because of Blessing's poor performance at pre-judging, I definitely would have had Dor Dorian in third overall. Now, with Morgan Asti. Morgan Asti looked very good. Um, he also... He he looked good. He looked good, but because he's so tall, I, I don't. I hate to say this, but he, he he does need more size. I know he's like three hundred pounds, but because he's so tall, he needs to fill out his frame. So he does need more to add some more size, and I think he might do a little bit better. And let's see. Oh, Dwayne Walker. Dwayne Walker. He was in ninth place, and I really didn't. I didn't agree with that placing either. I definitely thought he should have been at least two places higher. The guys who placed eighth and seventh, I thought Dwayne Walker was better than better than them. He should have beat them. And Dwayne also has the same problem as Brandon Curry. He really reminds me of Brandon Curry. He has beautiful shape, beautiful lines, and the upper body is really good, but the legs hold him back. If he's able to bring up his legs, he will do better, and he'll start placing better at pro shows. He'll start maybe even winning pro shows. So that's what I have to say about the men's open. Now with 212, the guy who plays first, Tony O'Burton, he did show up very good during the pre-judging. And the guy who, uh, in my eyes, was second place and maybe even first in the pre-judging was John Jewett. And during the pre-judging, it was a very close battle between Tony O and John. And because of the slight edge and, no, the edge and conditioning that John had, I would have, I would have had him in first during the pre-judging. But the judges did have Tonio in the middle, so that probably means that they did have Tonio winning the pre-judging. But it was it was very close between the two of them during the pre-judging, and I would have slightly had John in first during the pre-judging. But but Tonio did look very good, and I thought if he just brought in brought in a little bit better conditioning for the finals, he would he would take the show. And yeah, he he did. He he showed up he showed up improved to the finals, and he ended up winning. So that was well deserved, but with John in third, I I 
I really didn't agree with that. Overall, I really think that in 212, the judges could have done a better job. Um, I really thought John should have been at least second place and pushing pushing Tonio for the win. And I, I really didn't see him in third. He he didn't deserve third. He was second. He was he was definitely second. Now the guy who was second, Nathan, um, it was his pro debut, and he did look good. Don't get me wrong, but he definitely wasn't. He wasn't near the level of John Antonio, so I would have had him in third or even lower. Now, another guy that I think was overlooked during the pre-judging, or pre the 212, was Noel Adame. And if you guys have seen Noel, you will know that he has a really, really freaky side leg, which really helps him in those side, shot, side shots. And it really reminds me of some of the greats in Dennis Wolf and Big Ramy, let's say, and from the side, he, he does look very good from the side. It looks to the point where he's maybe even photoshopped his legs. Uh, but he wasn't fit. I, I don't, I don't know why. Uh, he looked really good from all the, all the shots and all the pictures I was able to find from him. And I thought he should have been higher. I thought he should, he probably should have been third instead of, uh, Nathan who was in second. And I thought probably Nathan should have been fourth, Noel in third. And I really thought he Noel was overlooked. I he should have he should have been higher, definitely should have been higher. Overall, we haven't really had a bodybuilding show in let's how long has it been? Like five months, five months with without any bodybuilding. The last show we had was Mr. Olympia, so it was exciting to see a bodybuilding show again. But I don't know. I I thought some of the physiques could have been better, and the judging could have been a little bit better too. But overall, was it was a decent show, and it was fun to watch. So that's it. Thank you, guys.